Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, Sophia is dead. So in comes the new character. His name is Carl. <laughs> Carl Ch Chapin. Uh, he apparently works for uh, one of the... Uh, he's a burger flipper, so he's got the, uh, the outfit here as a fast food employee. Um, <clears throat> this is not in the same world. This is a new world. It is, however, still Louisville. Um, I was playing a couple of test characters to try to kind of figure out some settings I wanted to mess around with. Uh, and this was Carl was originally going to be a test character, but this is the first time I've had a character spawn on the north uh, northwest side of Louisville by the river. This character spawned right on the river in one of the houses. So I was I kind of closed the game there, and I was like, "Well, I'll just we'll just try here." I have no idea if he'll survive because these are still sort of test settings. Um, I was really wanting to uh, change up how I had to play the game. Um, so I paused the game currently. I've not done anything. Uh, basically he spawned in this house. I think I looted one of the closets or something. And then I opened up the map to look where I was. And I was like, Oh, I'm over here. And then I closed it right away. So poor Carl here has been alive for 12 months. This is, uh, this game is set on 12 months later. So water and electricity are already off. There are no house alarms because uh, electricity is off. Um, so everything's overgrown and I have turned off helicopter and meta events. We are playing as if uh, there's no one in the world. So no gunshots, no helicopters, none of that stuff. Um, I adjusted uh, the settings for uh, generators and loot. Uh, so all food is insanely rare. Um, medical supplies, survival essentials, mechanics, all insanely rare. Um, and then extremely rare on uh, whatever this stuff is, foraging items. Um, I'm, I don't know if I care about that. I don't forge too much. We have to forge on this character. On my test characters, I did have to forge. I left literature alone just because I, I don't think that would be a high priority um, in a uh, zombie apocalypse. Uh, we We as the players want the literature, but I don't think Carl necessarily cares if he reads an educational book about cooking. <laughs> um, I increased ammo, ranged weapons and melee weapons. Um, all of my desk, my test characters ran into the same issue in Louisville. And that is that uh, there are just so many zombies. Um, we are set on an insane and because this is 12 months later, um, I changed it so that all of the zombies are alive at once. So as soon as we step outside, this will be the maximum amount of zombies that will be in the game. Um, respawning is off, but there is no waiting until day 28 for the buildup to the max zombie population. It is set at max from day one. Um, I still have the XP multiplier on three times. He has a starter kit uh, because, again, I ran into some pretty serious RNG issues. Um, uh, just starting with the bat changes that. Uh, and I played both of my test characters without multi-hit. I really wanted to do a series without multi-hit. I found myself kiting uh, zombies so much, just walking around buildings, over fences, dragging the hordes out, uh, thinning them out and killing them one by one by one. And these encounters took so long and um, I, I feel like that is just not my play style. I prefer to go a little bit more all in, and uh, that's where I'm more likely to make mistakes. If I have to, um, if I have to actually plan what I'm doing here and and uh, uh, really dive into it and make sure I'm doing these things in exacting order, I'm more likely to survive. So I feel like multi-hit is giving me like Sophia perhaps you know, who is currently a zombie um multi-hit just sort of gives me that that uh sense that everything will be okay even though it's not um I uncovered all known on start the map I was tired of looking at the map on my second screen so we know where everything is also poor Carl here he's from Louisville I mean he he works at one of the places so you know we we we, we upped that um the vehicles are in the same settings previously. Uh, 
I believe all the vehicles that I ran into in my test characters, they all will be, there'll be a bunch in running condition, but all the batteries are dead. Zombies are changed. Um, they are fast shamblers. They are not slow shamblers like with um, Sophia. Uh, the toughness is uh, still fragile. Uh, there's just so many of them. Uh, and this just gives me that little bit of an edge. I always play with saliva only or immunity. Um, I don't like the RNG chance of getting it from a scratch. Um, I have left the cognition to basic, and I'm trying to imitate a more uh, Walking Dead style zombie with the hordes. Uh, so their memory is set to long. So they will continue following uh, an area for a long time. And I change the sight to poor and hearing to pinpoint. Um, I really, oh boy, in my my test characters, I really ran into some major issues with these zombies. They They just show up. There's just so many <laughs> all the time. It is an insane amount. Um, so yeah, no respawn, population peak day one, population set to insane, and the population start multiplier is also set to insane. So there's a whole boatload of zombies. Um, I do have skill recovery. I've never used this mod. Not one time. I've had this on since I started playing. Never used it. Should probably learn how to use it. Don't even know how to use it. Um, and any other things before we start out here? Uh... I believe, oh yeah, my, my internet has been out for three friggin' days. I think it was three days? Yeah, so I've, I've had the videos up of Sophia going full zombie mode for a while now, and I just haven't haven't uh, done anything with it. I didn't have the, I'm going to put this, equip this. So we should be able to run across, um, oh, my reasoning for the, the ammo. I'm, I'm speaking so much here. I'm forgetting everything I wanted to say. Uh, oh, my game chugged there. That makes me nervous when the game chugs because I never know if there's going to be like crazy horde of zombies coming around or something. Um, one of my characters did start in a house with a zombie and I got bit right out the gate. Um, that is why, if you've ever seen me right click, that is why I have the cheat menu on. Um... I can't remember another game I do this on, but there are often times in these games where uh, anyone who is playing Zomboid, you know exactly what I am saying. Uh, man, you can just get you can just get screwed over, and that zombie starting at the beginning is utter horse crap. Uh, oh, here's another hammer. First aid kit. It looks like it's empty. It is empty. So the reason I have a bunch of guns and ammo in the world, supposedly, um, is because I wanted... Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Metalworking 1, Carpentry 1, Carpentry 2. Um, we'll probably just leave this stuff here. This is where I spawned in. Um, our character, Sophia, was over here. These three big houses, and we kind of died over here. So this is cool. We're on the other side of the world. My other characters were spawning in. Uh, down here in kind of this, like, I don't know if this is actually considered Louisville, but they were spawning in in all these houses here. This is the first time I spawned somewhere else, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, we will mark home, 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 home. Where's the home symbol? And I did get the symbol size marker. It's kind of cool. Saw that on Reddit. Someone made a really cool picture of their map. Um... The reasoning for uh, the yeah, the reasoning for the increase to ammo, um, they have pinpoint hearing and they have long memory. Uh, I found a shotgun and a couple of pistols on one of my test characters, and I fired them because um, I was mostly messing around um, and. Oh my lord, you would not believe the amount, the staggering amount of zombies that came out of the trees to chase me down. It was, um, it was shocking. Uh, I had to abandon all plans. Uh, this is, this is basically, uh, if I don't have like a significant amount of ammo, uh, using a gun is just not, not great. 
So uh, we'll leave this stuff in here. So there is a saucepan. That's good. There's no food. So the only food we have is our chips on our character. Um, so this is kind of the premise of this game. Uh, while there is a lot of... Uh, while there is a lot of guns, supposedly, and uh, these, like, metal weapons and stuff, um, we are going to not have food. So we are going to be forced to go out and explore. Um, I'm not sure what this stuff is, the workshop mod, uh, but that's that's on. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. I feel like there's something I was trying to say, but I was talking, got distracted, and have yet to say. Uh, something about mods. Um, oh, that's right. Um, I turned the ma another major sort of game changer. I turned off Brita's. Brita's? Brita's? However you want to say it. Um, so the armor mod and the weapon mod are off. Here they come. Every, every character so far I've played with these settings... Um, I've basically been sneaking everywhere, and I've been unable to avoid them. Um, there's just so many, and as soon as you start fighting, here they come. So this is the reason for multi-hit. Um, I know it's not a very popular thing among people, but uh, it's just so grindy if you're not. Don't check, no one's following us. Lose our character right away in the opening scene here. There's someone behind me. Saw a tree moving. Okay, let's let's back up just a smidge. Someone's banging on my back door. Here they come. Every single time I've played on these settings, this is what I have experienced. It's just been a nightmare. Um, this is this is the exact reason I wanted to play with multi-hit. There's just so many, and they just with pinpoint hearing and uh, long long memory. They just oh shit 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 shit. They almost got me. They just never stop coming. She bit me. He did not get bit. Um, so I th I'm thinking something got damaged or we got lucky. There they go. Um, I'm not familiar with this side of Louisville. Oh, there's just so many zombies. So many zombies. This, Sophia would thrive in this setting, but we, we're not playing Sophia. We are playing Carl. And Carl is just a humble burger flipper with a baseball bat who played baseball in his free time. So baseball bat's gonna break at some point here, and I'm going to have to use my my other weapons, a hammer and a pipe wrench. Oh. Just gotta keep an eye on our stamina here. There was one of the games where I got legitimately exhausted. I was a little surprised by that. So many zombies. So many zombies. Die! Got one. One of one of fifty dead. Okay, we are doing a fair amount of sprinting here. I'm trying to I'm trying to get them all kind of rounded up so they're not sneaking up behind me. I'm turning off sneak. Do a couple swings here, here and there. Um, stamina is dropping. That's not good. Stamina is going down. Now what I can do. And what I think I might do... There's just so many of these. Go away! Leave me alone! Please! 
please leave Carl alone. We're just trying to survive. Um, stamina's dropping. We are going to need a plan. We can kill this guy, maybe. Got one. One of they're they're if um they're multiplying. They're not. <laughs> we're killing one every now and then, but they just keep coming. I oh, mean, he's just so panicked too. So the we're not getting those like one hit kills, which is just such a bummer. There's one. Careful here, we're gonna get. Oh, that was almost a mistake. We're gonna get pulled down. If I'm not. If I'm not careful, we are going to get pulled down. All right, stamina is approaching halfway, so. We need to kill them all, or um, I don't. I don't know if he's got the stamina to kill them all because I'm gonna need to keep sprinting to stay out ahead of them. I can try to be a little bit more efficient about these swings. Um, as soon as this bat breaks, too, we're gonna be in trouble, and the bat is losing durability fast. Okay, 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 okay. Not good, not good, not good, not good. I thought we were doing well there, we were not doing well. Oh, one behind me. They're still multiplying. Every time I kill one, more of them show up. It's friggin' Oh, this pinpoint hearing man. So in one of my one of my games. Oh, they're still coming, they're still coming. Alright, we might have to retreat. I am saying retreat currently. In uh, one of my games, um, my biggest success on the setting so far was um, we need to get away, basically. Escape, uh, run, and hide uh, was my best option. And we will likely need to do that. Um, I can't remember if I have the fence lunge on and off. Check it out. Tall fences there. Uh, he needs a moment to rest. And I just don't think we're going to find that moment. This house has got tall fences almost all the way around it. Shit. They saw us. Shit. Oh, no. Freaking animation. All right. I think... I think we're getting out of here. I just don't think there's any any way about it. He doesn't have the stamina to do this. And there's just too many of these guys currently. Um, I half expected this. Like I said, I, I played two test characters. Um, one of them was in... was in uh, Louisville proper. And... He died a slow death. I did not have multi-hit on at the time, but he still died a slow death just because there's just so many, so many of these freaking zombies everywhere. Um, and the one that I had the most success on, basically what I did with her was I ran. Uh, I ran for uh, a lower populated area. She's, oh goodness. She started in uh, Louisville and I just left. There's another house with tall fences. Check it out. That's really cool. I can't see the yard. I don't want to turn around because I don't want to lose. There's a gate there. Kind of don't want to leave this area. 
Seems like a really good area, but every time I hop a fence, there's a whole bunch of zombies in there. Doesn't seem like poor Carl can uh, catch a break. His stamina is, uh, I think it's going up. Slowly. Slowly going up. Didn't know that. Didn't know the stamina went up by walking. I thought I thought you had to sit. A zombie in the trees. I'm gonna turn a little bit here. Ooh, lots of zombies in the trees. Never mind. Okay. Let's do what you should never do. Try to hop a fence, low stamina. And we don't know what's on the other side. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. We're walking back into that horde. We're just... Carl's not having a good day, man. Carl. Poor Carl. This might be a one-episode character, man. This guy... You know, if he, if he was in the hands of a, uh, a better player, a more professional player, maybe he could survive a little longer, but... It's just not looking good. It's just not looking good for him, man. He's he's just exhausted. We're we're down below half stamina. We need to be careful with that. Um, if you get if you get too low, you uh oh, and it's still going down. Oh, it's because he's panicked. He's full. He's full blown panic. Is that what it is that's causing that? If you get down too low, you can no longer sprint. Uh, you, you can never actually activate or toggle sprint. Oh. Lord, look at all the zombies. Plan. Do we have a plan? No. I have no plan. My plan is to... Um, Walk away from the populated area um, and make it to the checkpoint, the military checkpoint, unless we blow our stamina bar. In that case, uh, poor Carl will end up a one character episode and he's toast. Um, my test character number two was a uh, one episode type character. Um, I came out of my house started fighting and they just never stopped coming man they just never stopped showing up and i just literally ran out of stamina and we couldn't fight anymore it was that was the end how many do you think are in these woods down here i see one it just seems like a huge 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 mistake but i could get my stamina back shit so they're in the woods. They're in the woods. They're in the woods. This was a mistake. Carl, run. Get out of there. Carl, <laughs> we're going to use all our stamina. Oh, I thought this was like... This is like a park or something. Get the hell out of there, man. We need to be more familiar. We need to familiarize ourselves with the map. Because Carl would know that that is not a safe place to go. But he is in, he's panicking. And we don't make good decisions when we're panicking, so maybe it's appropriate that he tried to hide in woods full of zombies. So I don't know the distance to the checkpoint. The only thing I know is that there is a checkpoint south. Um, it runs the length of the map, and it is safe. Um, not at the literal checkpoint along the road, but if you go east, southeast a little bit, um, you can find safety because there will be far, 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 far less zombies over there. If we could just get him to stop having a heart attack, get climb, get the stamina back. Oh, it's climbing a little bit here. Here we go. Just need him to get a little bit of stamina and we'll be all right. But this stamina gauge is just making me nervous. Look at them all. Look at all these zombies. Good Lord, look at all the zombies. Sophia would be in heaven with her ax. Um, but poor Carl here, he's got a bat that's about to break. It's like half of a bat that he's swinging around. He's got a hammer and he's got a pipe wrench. Um, he's got a bag of chips. 
um, plan. So what are we what are we doing? We're, so we're going towards the checkpoint. Obviously, fatigue is coming back up. Okay, he's starting to panic a little bit again because here come the zombies. It's it's going down again. Okay, but we got a little bit. We got a little bit back. Um, what I'm thinking is we head to. There is like a there's like a burned out town. Basically, what my character my test character one did, and that there was a. There's like a burned out town uh, halfway down the uh, checkpoint. Um, and there are a few houses there. There are groups of zombies, but it's not this insane level. And then we just get a little bit of safety and work our way up from there. Um, our main source of food, uh, we do have zombie loot mod on. So these zombies are going to end up being kind of our main source of food not that we're going to eat the zombies but uh, they're going to drop chips and stuff rarely very rarely they're going to drop chips but they will drop them oh lord oh lord maybe carl's not oh my goodness look at them all down there what is going I go in the trees again. Engage sneak mode. There's a tree wiggling. Shit. Zombies. Ah, oh, there's a horde up here. I mean, it's hordes everywhere, but... Okay. Disable sneak. I was hoping to... Gain a little bit of footing. If I could just get a little bit of breathing room, we might be alright. Just a little bit. We need a, there's a horde there. Uh, two, two hordes. I think they're trying to m mind meld together. Uh, here's a couple, a couple zombies. We're losing our stamina. Um, I don't think Carl is going to make it. I'm calling it now. Um, I'm trying to... I'm pressing the sprint key every now and then just to stay out ahead, but... Uh, he's... I don't think he's gonna make it. I think Carl's a one-and-done kind of guy. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, Lord, there's a lot there. I only briefly saw them, but man, get rid of this thing. I can't see what's going on. Okay, here's a house or some kind of something. Apartment complex. We need to get somewhere. We need to lose these zombies. There's just so many, and we spawn so deep into Louisville, it seems, that we... <laughs> We can't, we can't find any breathing room. I am. I, he's so close to out of stamina. Like it's the. I don't know if it's coming through in the video very well. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Oh lord. But the. Uh, I don't remember if you walk slower if you are out of stamina. I know you can't sprint. Um. I think you do walk slower, but he's... Oh, we're walking into a horde. Oh my goodness. Listen. Uh, please. Carl, he just wants to live his best life. He, he's, he, was, he was tired of living in that house for 12 months. He just wanted to go to the outside world. the map game paused okay where in the world are we military checkpoint is way the hell down here um i believe this is actually the town i'm talking about so we're not too far however we're in the, the literal worst friggin' place we could be um 
this, oh boy, okay. There is a checkpoint, I think. This this house here. So that means this runs. It's like a giant fence that runs the length of this road, and it cuts the map in half. Um, the issue is, is that the main. So there's a checkpoint on this road. There's a checkpoint um, here, I believe, and then there's another one down here. Um, there's a broken fence in here, and that is what I'm aiming for, that broken fence, to to get into there, to get out of this. The problem Carl has is we're out of stamina, and the main checkpoint is here, all these buildings, I believe. And it is in – is this a hospital? Is that why there's so many zombies here? This might be a hospital here. It is absolutely infested with zombies. Um that might be why that huge horde of zombies. And he is just friggin' out of stamina. Oh, what do we got? What are our options? Just keep walking and hope for the best? Just keep walking, hope for the best. Keep walking, hope for the best. Carl? Carl can do this, all right? The world is out, and they they hate burger flippers. They don't think they should be in the world uh, they think the jobs should be automated. We need Carl to channel that rage, channel that, you know. Oh, Lord. Carl, don't go over there. Buddy, I know there's there's zombies on our, to the west here, but that, that's a nightmare. We're doing okay. We're gaining stamina very, very, very slowly. If I could just sit. <laughs> Briefly, if I could just sit briefly, we might be all right. But he, he just, he can't. Oh my God. This is the end. This is the end, isn't it? Kite them on the trees. Kite them on the trees, Carl. He can't sprint anymore. I'm out. This is it. This is the end. No more sprinting. Carl, please, I believe in you. I don't want you to die. Please, Carl. If we come across a zombie in the woods, we are effed because I cannot currently press the sprint key. I've been pressing it. Nothing's happened. He's he's too panicked. He's too out of breath. And I mean, I don't blame him. He's like, he's really, he's really gone through the shit right now. I mean, this, this poor guy. Zombie there. Zombie to the west. Um, we're losing the ones behind us. There's one there. We'll just turn sharp. Lead him into a tree. Make him slow down. I could use the walk, walk to command. And that will, that will make him avoid the trees. And I'll get through here a little easier. Oh, stamina is just, just, he's just gassed, man. He's just gassed. I hear a zombie. Okay, we're walking into another horde. There's, there's another horde there. They're following us. Where are we? What is this place? <gasps> Gosh! Oh! Oh! Turn around! Carl! Oh, I think I got you killed, Carl! I'm so sorry! I tried. I tried my best. Oh, Lord. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. I still have faith. I still have faith that he will find just a moment. Just a moment to himself. To You know what? If you're going down, eat your chips. Okay, there's a horde straight... Oh, God. Freaking straight ahead of us. We just cannot get a break. There's no break in these zombies. They're just everywhere. 
I don't know how... Okay, shit. That's a tent. Um, I hear them. There's one uh, directly southeast, big horde southeast. I don't know if it loaded in. Shit, 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 shit. We're at the... I think we're at the checkpoint. Carl, I think... I think we've made a grave error in our planning. And I think this is it for you, buddy. The only the only solution I have is maybe we can get over in these trees. Maybe it's okay. I see a bunch of zombies over there though, but there's hordes at the checkpoint. He's just he's gassed. He's got nothing. He's got nothing in the tank. Maybe we can clip them on the trees, but these trees aren't very close together, so they're kind of just going in. Zoom out just a little bit. Oh, I got clipped on one. Shit. Okay, Carl. Come on, Carl. Come on, Carl. Come on. We can do this. There's more there. There's the horde there. See, the issue here is... Oh, God, I'm running. I mean, other than me playing terribly, there is the checkpoint coming up. At some point here, we're going to run into a big frickin' fence, and Carl's not going to be able to do anything. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a barbed wire fence, so you can't climb those. Oh. Zoom out a little further. Oh, we're just skating right along the edges of this generator. <laughs> That's how Sophia died. I see the generators. Okay. All right. Carl, hear me out, buddy. I've not seen anything in a minute. Go here. Let's think. Dare I sit on the ground? Get a little bit of stamina back. Get a few ticks. He's he's uh, he's gassed. He's got nothing. He's got 0.14. Zombie there. 0.17. Okay, we gotta go. We got up to 0.18. We gain <laughs> we gain 0 0.04. Someone got real close to us. I can hear him. He's doing the uh that other noise the zombies make when they get like real close. Look at them all. My god. Are you slower if you sneak? I think you're slower if you sneak. Do you burn? Yeah, you burn stamina if you sneak. God. He just, he needs to sneak because... Shit. Shit. What do we do? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? I don't have a solution. My only solution, because I'm not aware of any breaks in the fence over here. My only solution is... um. Come over here. Hope no one saw us. And sit. Watch the trees. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Okay, we can't climb this fence. Oh, I'm irritated. Man, Carl has avoided, like, so many bites, though. If we could get Carl to survive this, he might be a real champion. Because, I mean, how many times has he been attacked now? I've seen the bite animation go off how many not times now? And every time he's come out and he's just like, No, man. I'm good. Alright. 
We're going to have to... As long as the stamina holds out, we have to kite through here because we've got some on us. And then we got to make a hard right through the camp. That's just all there is to it. There's nowhere to go down there. That place is completely fenced in and it's barbed wire fence. You can't hop that. Where's the horde? The question is, is where's the horde? Because that'll determine... Um, it looks like we might make it to the street. Oh, don't get stuck on a bush. Come on, man. Come on, Carl. You're better than that. Fuck. Gosh. Look at them all. Lord, look at them all. It's poor Carl. Hopefully they just get stuck walking around on the fences or something. His stamina gauge is about to drop. I think when you get... I think when I drop below that last tick down there, I want to say he walks slow. And you can no longer... You can out... Run them, I believe. Run, walk, not run. But you cannot outrun their um, coming after you mode. Like if you get a little too close. All right, I don't know exactly where it is, but somewhere in here, the the damn gate is broken. The fence, not gate. And I have no idea where it is. That's what we're aiming for. If we could find it, that'd be great. I want to say it's. Oh, yeah, there it is. <sighs> I don't think he has enough stamina to swing his weapon. There's more up here. This was some empty on my other character. Uh, Carl, you can do it, Carl. Come on, Carl, you're a champ. You can do this, buddy. Uh, I have absolute faith in you, man. He's, uh, he's just completely gassed. All right. Nothing. Just nothing, man. Oh, oh no. Is that it? I think that's it for Carl. He's bitten. That's it for Carl. He did not make it. Had high hopes. Had high hopes. And they were shattered. Poor Carl. Poor, poor Carl. Well. What do we do about a new character? Then? What is his name? You know, I'm bringing Carl... Let's keep Carl. I say we keep Carl. We need to maintain Carl's legacy, I think. Otherwise, we went through all that for nothing. So I think what we'll do is we'll make a new game again on the same settings. Um, you know, I might just have to, uh, Louisville, um, I had this set Woodsman Test. Um, we might, we might have to change these zombies from pinpoint down to normal. Um, it doesn't seem like any of my survivors are able to 
just withstand that many zombies coming at them. Oh, we're not able to, because poor Carl, he wasn't able to get any, any sort of breathing room, you know. This is my test run. This is what Carl was. He was a burger flipper. There's nothing fancy about this. Um, he just, he has like one point in a bunch of stuff. So he's got some bonus XP and a whole bunch of random junk. Um, uh, we need a uh, male character, Lester. Oh, I like the name Lester. Maybe Lester will do better than Carl. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where we start. This takes a minute or two to load. Um, oh, I'm so bummed about Carl because we made it. We made it to that checkpoint. He just did not have the stamina. And I couldn't fight those zombies uh, over by where he spawned in because he just... So many... The only thing I can think of is to just play even more carefully and just like open up our front door and just slowly kite them in. But I did that on test character number two. And at some point in the game, you have to fight. And when you fight, you just attract the attention of everybody. Uh, and it just does not end well. Uh, we'll need a pencil. Oh yeah, let's put our baseball bat, put that on our hot bar. I have no idea where we are. We'll open up the map in a second here and put our hammer. Where are we? We are... Um, we are... I want to say we're one building over from where Sophia spawned. Because this is where Sophia died. And this is next to this was the yard and this was the big building. And this was the Zippo Mart where she got her smokes from. So she spawned in like somewhere over here. One of these, I think it was like this building or this building. So we're real close to where um, she spawned in. Uh, we could always go back to <laughs> where we were. That's for sure. What is this building? I think it's apartment complex. The thing I'm curious about is if the apartment complex you spawn in it. Normally when you spawn in a building, you do not have zombies in it. Now I know that messes up every now and then, but if you spawn in a building as big as this, does that mean that the entire uh, building is then um, empty of zombies? Because this is if this is an entire apartment complex, like I think it might be um is it in turn entirely empty because that would be something else um i want to say test character one or two spawned in a building like this um and there was like a oh we found some food that's a that's a lucky find on the actually we found a quite a bit of food did i do I have the right settings on? No, it says insanely rare. I guess we just got some lucky with uh, this food, huh? Um, oh, there's some more food. Wow. Uh, Le what's his name? Lester? Lester's doing work. Okay, so this definitely looks like an apartment complex because it looks like we're up on a second floor. So let's cruise on out here. Um, now we turned off, yeah, he spawned in one of these buildings and, okay, okay. Um, I am not going to spend a whole a lot of time looting these buildings, I think. I think I'm just going to check. Uh, we have turned off that pinpoint hearing. It was just. It was just too much. I wasn't finding any any traction. I'm I'm listening for noises. If you're wondering why I'm randomly stopping, now I I happen to notice his sneak skill is flying. 
Um, not sure what may be triggering that metal pipe. We'll take that. Uh, the only difference, I, there was some more food in there too. Saucepans times two. Ooh, lots of. Um, I might, uh, the meat cleaver now. Felt right. I'm not a big fan of knives. Um, it, meat cleaver, I think, is short blade. He's got short blade skill. I can't remember if that comes from being a cook or not. Can opener is what we need. Screwdriver. Close that. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Flour. More saucepans. Dog food. Mmm, delicious. Another meat cleaver. Kitchen knife. I might take these weapons. Um, I Although I don't know if I need to be as cautious now because pinpoint hearing is off. Oh, poor Carl. I really had high hopes for Carl. I was real excited to play him. I mean, Lester is basically Carl. They're identical in all ways, really, except looks. Carl had a cool hat. Okay, this is the ground floor. I think. No, it's not. Oh, we were way up. We were way up. Okay, this is the ground floor. Uh, what is he? What are we? Let's move this button. Oh, this button brings up your equipped stuff. Not sure what we're wearing. A hoodie. Uh, we want a hoodie. Wear this hood up. Don't know whose clothes they are, but uh, they are mine now. Okay, so I believe if this is what I think it is, I think this is a parking garage. Yeah. And this door, that door, they lead to the outside. This leads back into the building. Um, and so, okay, so it, it, I believe we have like makeshift walls here. Now these can obviously be destroyed. Um, we, I, I think in this character we have on, right? Destruction. Yeah. So even if we board this up, they can smash it down. Um, in this game, the biggest issue would be this garage door. Uh, you can't, I don't think you can board up garage doors and also I can't come up with a clever way to build. Um, I can, I, we could build something in here. Um, but anyway, we go about it. Um, yeah. So, uh, should we peek outside? I don't want to peek outside. I think what we'll do, we'll go upstairs and we'll peek outside from upstairs from safety. And then we will continue on to Lester's journey. Lester will pick up where Carl left off. Oh, I didn't turn on that resizing mod. Man, it looks... What is... Is this... Is this the mall? I think this is the baseball bat factory. And I think the mall was near it. Oh god, if that's the mall, if we're that close to the mall, it's not good. A lot of zombies in there. Okay, let's let's just, you know, peek outside real quick. Oh lord, look at them all! There's a trailer there. That's interesting. Let's write that down. Um Oh, I don't have an eraser though. Oh, uh, what do I do? Boat? Boat symbol? Boat symbol means trailer. Um, I trailers are kind of rare. Um, at least for me, I don't tend to find too many of them. Uh, let's check out this side now. So this is the other side. So our apartment. Con oh, look at that! Is that a jukebox? You know, I really think I can list. On one hand, the amount of jukeboxes I've seen. And I want to say it's this one. 
This is the only one I've ever seen. I can't see anything really. A lot of zombies. Um, were there were there windows? Yes. Here we go. No, don't break the window. Here's a window. I can't. Can't quite see anything. Okay, I think that's. I think that is in fact the mall. A lot of zombies over there. So Lester's going to have potentially a good time. ATV. It's a lot of zombies. Yeah. All right. Um. He's getting bored. Oh, shut up. Freaking surrounded by 10 million zombies and Lester's just bored. Carl died being mauled to death and Lester's like, you know what? I could do with a good mauling. Let me out there. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think we will beef jerky. Is this the house we spawned in? No, cause huh. finding a lot of food in these, but I think that this, that is it for, um, this episode of the Louisville start, uh, we lost Carl. Um, I, I had debated <laughs> on just cutting that out, uh, maybe you know, while I was sitting here rambling, but, um, I actually think it's kind of funny to leave in all of the, uh, deaths and stuff <laughs> of my characters. Um, it, it, it would be, yeah, I, I just think that sort of adds in a little bit more flavor to <laughs> the videos to, to see poor Carl really, really try his hardest. Um. Yeah, I don't really have a plan for this guy, if I'm being honest. I mean, this is a whole boatload of zombies out there. Like, I, I don't really know what to do. The only thing I can say is that we 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 left I we left on long memory. So they're still gonna walk at sounds when they do get alerted for a while. But we did turn the hearing back to normal. Um, oh, yeah. So I think... Um, I mean, we're in a decent area, right? Like... Right? Like, this is this is a good area. Um, I might just... Do I have, like, a skull and bones? Is that, like... A, that seems like a proper symbol to have there's a sad face there's like a dead face on my screen these are real small i can barely see them like just barely see them what is this a parachute i can't tell what that is um what is this a raccoon uh box Da, 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 da. I don't know what that is. Z? Don't know what that is. So I think this is dead face, happy face, not happy. Um, maybe we'll do the not happy face. Um, that is a real bad area. Um, he needs a few more weapons. Well, Specifically, he needs more skill level. If he had higher skill level, I'd be a little more comfortable taking on the... Sophia, I would be comfortable taking on that horde. Carl, no. But yeah, um, we'll leave in the adventures of Carl. Oh, poor Carl. I was so bummed about that. I really thought we we're going to make it. Um, when I test character one, when I went to that crack in that fence, there were only one zombie in there, I want to say. And I thought, you know, if I make it in here, Carl has a legitimate chance of surviving. Um, the reason I turned to fight uh, is because if you follow along that path in between the fence, the zombies from the outside can't get in. But there's actually uh, a few more zombies dotted about down the way. And if you make it all the way down 
to the actual checkpoint, you run into another sort of cluster of zombies. Um, and obviously the, the homes, there's a bunch of zombies in the burned out homes too. So I thought we'll just try our best here, see what we can do. But with no stamina, he just, nothing, nothing happened, just no damage. But yeah, Carl will be forever remembered. Um, and Lester, uh, it will hopefully be more than Lester Hansen will hopefully be more than a, a one and done kind of, kind of guy. Um, the settings are a little bit more difficult than what Sophia was dealing with, so we'll see. Uh, Sophia never dealt with hordes like this. Uh, she she was on the ramping period up to 28. Um, these settings are the same thing that Sophia was using, though. Like, you see this horde. Um, I have this set to advance the zombie option. So the rally group size. So the um, the follow, uh, um, okay, so that's not, not that one. Rally, oh, here, rally group size, rally travel, rally group separation. Um, these settings are all, like, at their, like, maximum 1,000 rally distance. They'll go 50. Uh, so all of these zombies should be just making these huge, 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 huge groups. Um, and hopefully Lester is able to deal with it. Um, I have my suspicions that he perhaps will not be able to deal with it. Um, and something bad will happen to him. Um, just cause, you know, that's just how it goes. And all he's got is a bat. It's not like he's as well equipped as, uh, she was, um, you know, the plan could always be to run, um, there are no cars, so anywhere he goes is going to be a um, pain in the ass. Um, and everywhere in Louisville is bad. Um, even the park is bad. Every every aspect of this, this part of the map is just awful. Um, I mean, you could, we could, we could just book it to the woods. Uh, we won't have a building. I don't think there are any buildings. I could check the map to see if there are any uh, buildings out here. Um, and then slow, <laughs> we could slow walk it through the woods all the way over to like something like this. Um, that could be, that could be a plan. Something like over here. I, don't know, I started over here and there's a, there's actually a shocking amount of zombies through here. Not quite what we're dealing with, but there's still a lot. Um, but if we could make it, if we could just make it somewhere over here, maybe it would be a little bit safer. Um, I know these houses are not fenced in. I know it was these down here for Sophia, but if we could just get somewhere to um, be a little bit safe uh, and get our bearings, we might be all right. Maybe. Um, but yeah, that'll be the end of this one. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching Carl struggle. Carl was a champion. It was my fault. It was not Carl's fault. I don't want you to think that Carl was um, did poorly. That was all on me. I was the driver. Um, and this is Lester. Hopefully Lester does better. Um, our plan might just be to evacuate the city uh, right away and not live where we currently are. But I guess we'll see. Um, thank you for watching either way.